so, oh, shit. so 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 we was talking about the um how how the flies just come out of nowhere Cardell, what you what you were saying about the flies it's like Sir, it's just, like the niggas be looking at it like oh yeah watermelon <laughs> We <laughs> <laughs> the guy hot out here. You know them niggas for the habit. Watermelon. <laughs> out of nowhere. So, so you said so you said fly flies are black. Bro, flies is absolutely black, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or black adjacent. Black adjacent, right? <laughs> I mean, when you look at a fly, they all they all they black. all black. <laughs> they all black. <laughs> Oh yo, God, man, man, yo, we was kicking it, man, talking about um just our kids and stuff, man. And oh my just God. where they are right now, just their just like disability, just want to be left alone now, but always yeah. know everything and you can't really tell them shit. Yo, and it, 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 you just want to tell them like, yo, man, you don't know. You don't ass, know, man. Like, yo, it's crazy. But you don't right. want to scare me either, but. <laughs> but like, I find, I find what's best, bro. Let them bump their head, bro. Yeah, when you can, when you can. If you let them they bump, their, bump head. their head into like a mountain, then you gotta, you gotta, you gotta intervene. Bro. Well, that's why my my prayer, bro, is always you know for God to keep His head of protection around them. But yeah. at the same time, I some I I get it that sometimes experience costs too much. You know what I'm saying? Bought sense mm. can be too expensive, but. Ain't nothing better than experience to, to to for the lesson to really soak in, bro. And sometimes when they got that thing where they want to learn for themselves, bet I take the training wheels off. Go ahead, scrape yeah. your knee up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a, that's a good perspective to have, man. Like my son, he has, right now he got like he got like mad bags of like different times when we went out and got food, <laughs> and it's in the room, and it's like so I go and I'm like. Yo, you know you're gonna have to like, you know, get all this together. He's like, I know, I know. I said, you ain't know it till I told you. Right. right. You, now you, was, you know. You was ignoring this shit. Right. right? This was not it even. It was cool. A, this was cool. <laughs> Yo, man, my son is like, bro. What is it about boys where it's just like pulling teeth to make them niggas go take a shower? Oh no? my goodness, man. It's not just that, man. It's it's with everything, man. Bro, Damn. yeah, and I hate repeating myself, man. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I said it again. <laughs> I got right. this again. Right. Yo, like, oh, how um, about when they play with you in ways you would never let nobody in the street play with you? Yo, yeah. He's like, I, how the nigga I'm yo. feeding? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't have that issue, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. I mean, my, my, <laughs> it's a fly oh, in here yeah. right now, bro. So, oh, I missed it. It's a fly. See, see. He's like, yo. <laughs> He's like, yo, niggas. yo. I heard, heard somebody say something about me. What up? He's like, oh, 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 niggas is talking. Niggas is talking. <laughs> we got, we like, got niggas trying to get fly. Oh, you trying to get fly? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that that's I oh, didn't even see it, but I know that's funny, man. You done spoke them up, bro. Yeah, but you, 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 said, you, you said you said try to play with you in um in ways that people wouldn't play with you in the street. Yeah, like yeah. bro, that was like I know, bro. I, I I go from silly to New Orleans <laughs> real quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, and bro, my kids, bro. I had to stop parenting them out of ego, though. You feel me? Cause like. Yeah. At the end of the day, I don't want you to be scared of me, but I do want you to realize there's a gun in that drove. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Damn. Damn. The fuck? It really is in there. I don't want to pull it out, but it's in there. <laughs> Whoa. We starting early? <laughs> but, nah, bro. I, I wouldn't Marvin Gaye my Yo, that, that Marvin Gaye is wild, man. He, he already out of here? Oh, oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> you gotta block them, bro. <laughs> we, were, we wasn't even five minutes into the show, Yo. man. He already, he already getting the calls. <laughs> they be Damn. on his, head. they be on his head. So. Oh, oh man, <laughs> no, I think I think he did that himself, man. Because he was like, yeah, I want to pull it out. Yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, like, right, right. They, they, they about to get me. Let me, <laughs> let me sabotage myself. Get out of here. Yo, man. That's... We, we got him last time, dude. <laughs> oh, man. 
Man, like I tell you, man, that this this technology stuff is wild, man. So I was doing the interview yesterday with uh with Samba, uh for his uh for the PIMD, uh, Pan African Institute of Municipal Development, and the whole time is looking super clear. We get through it, but he's telling me, "Hey, I, I think you broke up a little bit," and then he's saying, "I can hear you now, but my face was frozen on his side." Oh, so shit. I'm looking at it; it looks fine. I'd go to the playback. And sure enough, that's what happened, bro. So, so it's like so why, so why your side was showing like everything was still good. I don't Jay even Henry know. Call. Oh, we know Jay Henry live. He's like, hey, bro, uh, hey man, I got this, I got this situation. You want to be a part of it, man? You want to make some money? <laughs> Jay Henry live. So you want to make some money? Jay Henry live. I'm gonna be Barry White. You gonna be. You're going to be uh, the light-skinned dude from Shalimar. <laughs> <laughs> no, son. Hey, you know that's one of my least favorite singers ever. Howard Hewitt? Son, I don't like him, son. Why you don't like Howard Hewitt, bro? Look, he froze. I, 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 of course it's not personal. I don't know the nigga. But, like, bro, he's, like, it just be feeling like when he saying he trying to prove he black for real. <laughs> dude. Like, bro, yeah. we get it. Like, I, all right, you light-skinned, not white. Stop. Why you gotta be <laughs> like nigga be over soul singing, bro? Like how you over soul singing? <laughs> Yo, Howard Hewitt, I heard he he he's putting hands and feet on. You know? Oh yeah, oh he oh he a gangster for real though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he <laughs> really is. He like that. He said he was doing that to the women too. Oh, whoa. oh well, no, nah, that's not gangster. No, nah, that ain't gangster. Nah, I know, I know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Shalimar was from like from the from the hood in LA. Oh really? Mm. Yeah, they got they got popular from Soul Train. They used to dance on Soul Train. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they ended up being in a group. Him, Jody Wild. Yeah. And uh Jermaine something. I always Man. forget the, the dark skin dude with the uh yeah, with the with the with the, with the, the perm. You forgot the dark skin dude. <laughs> just yeah. conveniently forgot the yeah. dark skin dude. Yeah. Just, just forget the, the nigga. Dude, Light skin <laughs> bias, right? Yeah. The, 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 the full blooded nigga. Do I don't remember his name? <laughs> <laughs> Too much melanin to remember. <laughs> <laughs> See? Watermelon. <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> oh my god oh man so so yeah man uh we're gonna start getting these uh one-to-one -one conversations together i, I Yo, thought that was that platform how did it go that joint it went clean. Great. oh you like it the way looked, it looked man that joint it looked clean man perfect Love perfect it. man that was like a last minute design too because you know how it is like even this what we do here on the podcast that was a last minute design like i had it i had it then the day that we was recording hours before it, i said it just hit me boom 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 boom, boom. and that's yeah. what happened with that right there too man it's like mm, nah that ain't it let me try another and then it just fell in place so you know so that's that's kind of how it be but yeah the interview went great and 35 45 minute interview is pretty good man because when you got the questions already set up right it just it kind of mm -hmm. helps the conversation flow a lot better so um, I know the I know the people Biko gonna be doing Cardell. I don't know who you got in line. If you want to just go flow with it, had your questions um, or you need. No, I want them questions. I think it'll make it a little bit more streamlined. You know me, I could be all over the place if I don't have a just something to kind of outline. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. But you just gotta provide me like what those people background is because they kind of gonna be similar questions, but it's good to just know what their background is so you can have some specificity specificity in there. You know what I mean? Some specific, excuse me. Specificity. Specificity, excuse me. I, I wasn't supposed to use that word. See, that's one of those words that got too many syllables. And it, it's I just, way too many. Bro, it's, it's like, why I can't just say specifics? Right, right. The specific. <laughs> yeah. Specificity. And I knew you were sitting there looking, because I've heard you use that word a few times. And yeah. I was like, that's like one of his favorite words in the spelling bee. So, you know, I was just like. Yeah, it's not the spelling bee. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy, son? You mentioned spelling bees. So my mama used to do hair, right? Your mom. And uh huh? Yeah. Okay. And uh so that uh her shop burned down when we was like two. And so she used to do hair out the house. Okay. After that. 
And so the ladies, all everybody in the neighborhood would come to her shop. And uh, she used to make me spell words for dollar. I caught on to the fact that none of them knew how to spell them words. And I used to clean up. <laughs> and I spell the word wrong on purpose. And be like, yo, this old lady really don't know how to spell. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> yeah, you old lady, son. son, I was scamming. Son, I was jigging. <laughs> Yo, you yeah, you got a spelling bee deal going on. <laughs> <laughs> it was be, be it'll be like simple, uh, anything three syllables. Oh man, like that's anything. not hard, mom. Yeah, but like those words, man. Like some, some you got to admit, like the English language is some is some BS sometimes. Cause you just be like, it really is, bro. Like where, 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 where? Like it's just like, come on. Two, two, and two. Right. Oh man! Like, come on, man. <laughs> so people be coming to this country. Like, I don't get it, man. Like, what? Do, what do you guys have so many words for? Like, this is just don't make no sense, man. <laughs> man. So, yo, sir, y'all not gonna believe this shit, son. What? I put this nigga on call block. This nigga pulled up, son. Nah, <laughs> no, he didn't. Jay Henry is pulling up right now, nigga. Yo, he want to be in the show. He want to be on the show, bro. <laughs> yeah, you got. Now nah, he's just gonna get something. Oh man, Jay Henry live. What's up, man? <laughs> he can't hear y'all, bro. I got my in ears in. All right, tell him. Uh, go, tell me, have a seat. <laughs> show, show, tell him show his face, man. Let's see Jay Henry live on the podcast real quick. Hey, he, he don't have no shade. He not finna get on here and mess up his image, bro. Oh, <laughs> not to hear me lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jay Henry live. What up, Jay Henry live? Woo, 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 woo. What up, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> he's saying he's gonna have to get his people to get to, to get with y'all people to let y'all know what the fee for that was. <laughs> He said 3500 flat rate. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Tell him I put something on it. <laughs> Bruh, I'm the paying. confidence. It's crazy. With no nigga. I'm telling you, that nigga shit through the roof. Uh, so tell him I got I got a wide screen angle for him so we can fit him in the camera case. <laughs> <laughs> Hans, I'm telling you, <laughs> you spiking yourself, Hans. I'm telling you. Yo, he he was barely fitting in your camera shot, I bro. Like, oh, the whole, all you see was that blue shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have to, oh, we gonna have to get God. him a spe a special attention right there. <laughs> he <laughs> said he needs special effects. <laughs> he got to sit a little further back from the camera, That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get him in the frame. Oh, <laughs> wow, <God>. so. <laughs> you know, he gonna hear this on the playback too. He gonna be mad. So. He gonna get mm -hmm. us. <laughs> he gonna get our ass. Right. He, he ain't no. He ain't never gonna get mad, bro. That's what, was, all the older cousins used to leave him alone, bro. Cause he like they, they used to rib me, and I will I will want fight. But him, <laughs> he's just gonna do that <laughs> and leave it alone. They like leave, they used to call him dude. That was his nickname. Dude. Gonna leave dude alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, called, he look he look at Cardell with a fat suit on. That shit wild, son. Like. <laughs> Like Cardell's <laughs> face is right here, and like the rest of it is just skin and shit. It's just, it's just wild. So <laughs> he got face meat busting out his beard. <laughs> yeah, we we told you about that face meat last episode, so You out of line, <laughs> like you out of control, so You that's you really want to talk about it? You, go ahead, talk about face meat. Go ahead. Nope. Nope. Go ahead. <laughs> you you, you want to talk about face meat? What's, what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> Yo, you already on thin ice, man. I, I would just right. like. <laughs> he got shish kebabs to the face. Like, come on, man. You out of line right now. Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, something I, I, it hit me the other day, man. No, actually, it was early this morning. And I was tripping. We're going to get into our topic, y'all. As soon as we, we finish going through this process, we go through every time. Um, Yo, you ever thought about when how, how it felt when somebody called you or you heard somebody being called a doofus <laughs> like yo like think about that 
sir. Doof. <laughs> when I think doofus, son, I think of the dude off of DuckTales, bro. <laughs> Remember doofus from DuckTales? Like, he was just like this bad build, the, the right. coat bottle glasses. <laughs> bad build. Yeah, I just think about somebody uncoordinated, just fucking Yo. just... Yeah, it's you wild if you're this lady. Son. It's like super doofus. disrespectful. That, yeah. So that's wild yeah. disrespectful, son. Stop being a doofus. Like you being a real Yeah, doofus. don't call me a doofus. I don't or want to be called a doofus. Or they shorten and they be like, you a doof. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just like uh, <laughs> how you abbreviate the this? Like, Yo, damn. you abbreviate, but that ain't that this what is re- abbreviated though. This is abbreviated, right? The right, 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 right. Diff. <laughs> A doofus, a doof, like or a doof ball. It's like we, like what about the kids who got wow. the nickname, and then we give them a nickname to the nickname. Like who got a nickname to a nickname? Yo, what was the worst thing you could be called when y'all was growing up? For me, it was stupid. Don't call me stupid. <laughs> yeah, my daddy did not play that word, bro. Don't call me stupid. My daddy will check anybody for that. My my grandmother called me stupid one time, man. I was I was heated about that shit, man, and. I looked at it. This was my mother's mother. And, and she, <laughs> she he looked at her and threatened her. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Oh my God. I kicked you down them stairs. No. Don't stop. No. We're going to see you stupid. <laughs> you stupid for thinking I wasn't going to do nothing for that. <laughs> hey, yo, oh, you're taking sweet around here in this I house. She just, <laughs> she just fell. Like, yo, I did, <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, yo, yo, come here, hold on. Yo, get her arm. Nah, that ain't happening. <laughs> yo, yo, um, I, I, I looked at her and, and I was like, I'm not stupid, don't call me stupid. And she was like, well, then nah, you what, gotta stop, nah, you gotta nah, stop what, 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 what the face look like when you said it though? That, that sound like you was looking at her like. <laughs> yeah, I, I did, I did, I gave her a look. <laughs> I gave her a look. I gave her a look. I gave her a wild look because it just threw me. So you was gonna bet it's your bands on, son. No, no, no. Man. Man, they would have killed. I wouldn't even made it home. So I don't know what was going on, and it was just me and her in the house, man. And my grandmother. So her mother's from the British West Indies. So they from Saint Kitts. Her father's from Barbados. So that their tongue is very direct, and it can it can yeah. it, it can tear you up, man. Yeah. And my grandmother didn't curse, but. She was she was very pro, prolific with words, you know what I'm saying. Mm. So she would she would definitely let you know. And like I've heard her say, just acting the damn fool or stuff like that, but never cursing. Mm-hmm. That day, man, I don't know what was going on. She's like, "You're just stupid." And I looked oh. out and I just looked at her. I said, "I said, I said, Grandma, I'm not stupid. Don't call me stupid." And she, well, well, stop doing what you're doing then. You know, and that was her way of apologizing. Right? Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> she did no, receive no, no, no. my ad, the ad, admonition. Right, right, right. She, <laughs> she, let, she let off the gas at that point because she could tell that she, it really hurt me because I was like, wow. So calling me stupid is what I would, you know, anything else is like, whatever. What about y'all? I don't know. Punk and bitch, man. Like, Ooh. yeah, them some wild ones. Yeah. Like a female calling you that, yeah. But see, when I, I was little, I had bro, a female call me a bitch, bitch. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, like don't press that red button because now nah, I really have to show you I'm not. That's when the all, 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 all respect was out the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but do but you the know crazy that- thing, bro, New Orleans women they grow up with their boy cousins and they talk mad aggressive like that. Oh, so that's just normal. So, talk. Oh, bro, they'll call you bitch ass nigga in a minute. Oh, hell no. That's why put, I couldn't marry one, bro. And put the ass nigga on there too, like there. Oh, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, bitch ass nigga. What? That, no, bro, we not finna do that. You not finna have me out in, in here like that. No, ma'am. But do you know that the worst thing you that, like the worst thing you can do to a woman is really ignore her. Be putting your hands on her that that don't really move them like that like you know that's why a dude who's like abusing a woman it don't last that long it don't Mm. last long before they ready to kill you or they just gonna get up out of there because that fear don't stay there like even if they know you they'll say something wild it's when you none of that happens but you just move on then it's like and they can kill us with their words 
and they could kill us with their words. Absolutely. They could kill us with their words. You know, that, that kind of segues us into some of the conversations we was having last week, and we said we're going to talk about it today. So one of the things um, I wanted to talk about was proximity love. Yeah. And uh, my belief that a lot of times the the environment shapes who we end up being in relationships with, but they're not necessarily our choice. If we was given this free, free canvas, clear of any obstructions to go find the woman and women the same could find a man a lot of the people we were with we probably wouldn't even <laughs> chose them so a lot of i'm not saying they're not great people because i believe you can fall in love with anyone but in a lot of ways we 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 messed with the women that were in our proximity and do you think that shapes a lot of how those relationships even develop over time and that the real possibility that may have not been supposed to be in those relationships at all or, or may, maybe maybe we we're supposed to be in those relationships because it was supposed to do it was supposed to shape and mold the person that we're um becoming because i think proximity love is more on the it's more like um so if you if you see if you see this female right and she's she's a dog on the outside mm -hmm. yeah that's the one i want right but proximity if somebody that's around somebody that you see all the time you getting to know that person and in and getting to know them you like what you see about them so no matter what anybody else is on the outside it, it's beautiful to you because you know this person so when i hear proximity like, I, don't, I don't take it as oh i'm just dealing with that person because that was mm -hmm. what was around it's because yeah. i got to know that person you know what i mean so that that's, i think that's that's what i see i think uh when you're dealing with like most times it's when you're younger you know what I'm saying? Because you in the neighborhood, you got limits to where you, how far outside the neighborhood you can go. You know what I'm saying? So uh, because of that, you pretty much stand in the confines of that environment. But the thing about it is there's no mystique because you know this person's background. You might know their parents and stuff like that. So the mystique is, is a non-factor at that point. You get what I'm saying? There's a lot yeah, of familiarity. Me. We can hear you, but you you had froze. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of familiarity uh, that 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 uh, I don't know. It kind of could be comforting at times. You know what I'm saying? But also, it really don't push you outside of your comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? It don't push you to to pursue you know more than what y'all see unless you just naturally ambitious like that you know what i mean but do do you do do you need to be pushed more why why, why it can't just be what's in your proximity why, why should you have to go out and, and and see more why why is what's around you not enough well i don't think uh i don't think you you, you it, it's that you have to be pushed outside of that I just think connection and the right connection is based on purpose, not really love. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I believe the purpose can facilitate love to become a, a bond. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I can't honestly say, you know, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't advise nobody to do how me and Misha did, but our situation was a little bit different from your classic love story you feel me like duty led us to du duty and tradition led us to purpose which led us to what we have today you get what i'm saying so it wasn't necessarily like but it, it definitely wasn't proximity because she right, from right. kansas city i'm from new orleans <laughs> you feel so me she went to school yeah. in in uh in uh in Xavier. so for me honestly uh growing up you know of course you had the girls who you liked in the neighborhood and uh once you like get to a certain age where you got when you going to school and there's girls from different neighborhoods at your school then you start going to dances and stuff like that at other schools and you start saying dang what's fine girls at every school you get what i'm saying so now i don't even want the girls at my school i'm gonna go see what's up at this school over here you get what i'm saying and then for me uh traveling doing music uh 
once I discovered college girls, because they was from all over the country, all over the world, too. So was, I never dated a New Orleans woman after that. Wow. You get what I'm saying? And I think it was something in me that was, I guess, the hunt. You know what I'm saying? Like, OK, I know what I, you know, I know I can mouthpiece my way into a chick from New Orleans. Let me see if that worked with a chick from Houston. Let me see if that worked with a chick from Chicago. Let me, you get what I'm saying? And it did. So, <laughs> <laughs> and it did. <laughs> it worked perfectly. My plan. Bro, was I'm telling you, I, I had some epic nights uh, <laughs> pulling women, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> was that was that around the time you was you was taking your shirt off, or that was a little bit later? Oh, on? that was a, that was after that. Like, uh, but I was okay. already him then. Yo, yo, I was already him then. <laughs> Yo, Cordell, I'm gonna tell you how 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 I'm setting you up. You about to walk around I, there? Be cool. I you see know, this nigga, know. man. You see it? You see him coming? I see this <laughs> nigga. Hey, hey, pause, pause, pause. But he 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 <laughs> he came he came here on a mission today. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. See, I, you know, I got knocked out of the uh, the stream, so I, I missed some of it. But I, I got, I gathered that you didn't, your wife and you, that wasn't really a a, a, a a product of proximity love. Like y'all, y'all found no. each other in a different way. Yeah. But the way both of, like both of us are, uh, I would, I guess you could say, addicted to self improvement. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? So. We always reaching for that better version of ourselves. What's next? You get what I'm saying? Like, what more could I mind? And uh, I don't think she probably she could have found that West, you know, in 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 her environment, just like I probably couldn't have found it in mine. So we kind of meet each other needs in that regard. So it, like, I think prox proximity love is introductory, but a lot of people get stuck at introductory. Mm. Mm -hmm. that's a good perspective uh my perspective on proximity love is uh there's there's some truth to it uh, at least in my experience when i think about my environments uh there were there were definitely women that i i probably courted not really in an interest of where it can go further but just because they were right there and they were cute you know what i'm saying and i found yeah. them attractive so I you know, shot my shot and that shot was shooting until it didn't shoot no more. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But the reality is when you get into the mix, at least in my experience, when I got into the mix with them, I realized that they really weren't my type of people. And I probably wasn't their type of people. But yeah, I think the environment and the, the convenience of it allowed us to just make something out of it. And there were some good times and there was most times it was like, oh, wow, maybe this wasn't the best decision because I, I was watching something and they was like everybody that you meet, every woman you meet don't need to be like somebody you 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 you're interested in like that. Mm. Right. You don't have to always uh, look immediately to the relationship or sexualizing it. Maybe she just yeah. supposed to be your, your friend this time. Right. This particular one. And it's hard to. Well, damn, pause. Yeah, it's a challenge to not get into that mix when you when you meet somebody and you and you you like, damn, she look good, but you 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 get the vibe usually initially like, mm, this ain't this ain't the vibe. Not as a bad vibe, but it's this is not that vibe. Yeah. And yeah. but because she's within proximity of your interest and she's in the <laughs> environment and yeah, you know, yeah, she might not live that far away. It's like you you get into the mix with them. And, easy and to easy up, to blur the lines. Yeah, mm. it's easy to blur the lines like. Like I remember, I had an ex girlfriend. She she worked at she I worked I worked in a uh, I worked at a bank that was inside of a grocery store. So it was a lot of other different businesses there too. And she was like doing security. And mm. you know she had the uniform on it. And usually those uniforms are like baggy, or whatever. But she was filling the hell out of that uniform. And I was like, oh shit! I saw the cut of the uniform, and I was like, man, let me set her up an account. <laughs> so, <laughs> so so i got a number on on the pretense of the account and then when i was talking to her she was like i said something a little out of the way and she was like are you still trying to set me up with an account i said we'll get to it but you know and she was like oh okay so let me change let me reframe a little bit 
then we ended up we ended up kicking it and we ended up getting in a relationship you know but overall i can tell i can tell you that that wasn't really the person i was i wasn't, I wasn't really supposed to go that far with her you know yeah. that was supposed to be something that maybe have fun but not maybe not even do that with you know what i'm saying because you leave a piece of yourself with her they leave a piece of themselves with you so mm -hmm. it, it's, it's it's a dangerous game out there and <laughs> i'm learning i'm learning that a lot in therapy where you just more appreciate people for who they are and just be patient with the process of getting to know them because if you try to fast track it into something romantic you might miss something real special about that relationship that may not be romantic all because y'all chasing the feel goods of the of of the yeah. interaction right you know so that that brings us to you know just the overall dynamic of different relationships and when they they start to wane or someone does something that's requires some level of forgiveness right and i'm at a point now where i had to do some forgiveness work in therapy and the part about it that got to me was wow because it wasn't even a part that was about me right you have a self-forgiveness worksheet and then you have a forgiveness worksheet for the person that that you believe you know injured you or knowing believe that injured you right let's keep it a buck mm -hmm. um and is a question on there where it says if you know anything about this person growing up what would you highlight as being some of the things they've experienced as kids or growing up that could have led to them making that decision or doing what they did that injured you and let me tell mm. you man when i started to i know so much about it right i knew so much about this girl i'm putting it down and i'm starting to just like get emotional about it because i'm now highlighting her experience as a human being her experience as a kid growing up mm -hmm. things that happened her experience as a young girl growing up getting to that stage and now guys are looking at her but they not supposed to look at her in that way growing up father leaving and going leaving and going leaving growing up then getting become an adult seemingly you out of danger zone but no it's still danger then you, you right in the crosshair you in the crosshairs now and then you can't you get shot like you you this these things happen to her and i'm just sitting yeah. there and i'm just like that's when it hit me like it was never about you hassan it was never about you you humanize that decision it. and how it played out and and how I, I had to humanize it and the way it played out <laughs> and how she went about it that had nothing to do with me it wasn't nothing. about what i did even though it hurt or, it even though it hurt it it hurt it hurt like hell but it was never about me you know so it was like wow okay and that's when now when i think about it as my therapist did say she said early on when i first started going she was like at some point you're going to get to a point where the thought of it becomes more and more benign where it's not feeling as strong of a uh, of an intense emotion that it does right now and i'm getting to that point now where i, I think about it in waves again but still now those waves don't just knock me over no more it's more mm -hmm. like that happened all right i didn't like that that didn't happen that happened the way it did and i i thought we were better than that and i didn't deserve that not the way it happened right but it happened and mm. it's it's not my fault that it happened don't blame myself right. That was a decision right. that she thought she needed to make for herself. And that decision was influenced by all of those different things that I listed on that forgiveness worksheet. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, I wasn't even there when those things was happening. But right. those things are guiding her. And these are things in our life that guides us as well. So That's what do you fact. guys think? It, what do you guys think about that? Like, how, how do y'all navigate that with, you know, some past or maybe present situations? Man, it's crazy that you, you, you can't, you came to that, but you, um, you had therapy for it. I, it took me years, I mean years, to finally come to that. Like I came to that on my own. The, the, the exact the, the exact same thing you came to with looking at um the the past and all the things that she went through and how how that shaped and molded who she is and how it's not it's not about you. Like all of that, I ended up like I had to play it over and over and over and over and over, and it took me so long, so much years to um to, act, to finally come to this point. Like, it was times where I I told myself, yeah, I ain't sweating it no more. Yeah, it's it's all good, but then 
something that happened and I'm I, I see that rage and anger is still there like damn I'm not over this shit so it, yeah. it took me a while it took me a long time longer than it should because I never got I never got into any um therapy before I never spoke to anybody but do, do you yeah. think that um you would probably still benefit a great deal even though it, it subsided in time you think you'll benefit a great deal if you still went to therapy absolutely okay I keep I keep saying I keep saying that, that I'm going to but I keep pushing it off, you know, finding finding other things to do with money. Yeah, yeah. You know I, mean? but yeah. I, I need it. I definitely yeah. need it still. Because I think we all time. do. In, in time, I I'm, 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 I'm someone who doesn't like to rush through anything. Yeah. Let it happen. So, yeah. yeah, allow it to get in flow with it. And then when you get in flow with it, you know that, okay, this is, this is the space I need to be in because I can go with this flow. Right. You don't have to force it. What about you, Cardell? Um... I've always been a person that, that, well, I ain't gonna say always. I think something that happened with my dad early on and he operated in forgiveness and it had such a profound impact on how I look at forgiveness uh, and how I look at things happening for a reason. So where I don't, I don't even question it like that. You feel me? So <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I always move in grace because I'm in touch with my humanity. You get what I'm saying? I'm in touch with the fact that I'm flawed. So I I, I never it holds somebody to a standard that I'm not going that I, you know, that I can't meet. You feel me? So um and I'm always I've always been a, a historian in a way. So I'm always looking for root causes and I'm an overthinker. So I play I play out scenarios in my mind like that. So even when I when I feel played about something, I can always see the other side of it. You know what I'm saying? And it I I get mad fast, but I get over it even faster. Mm. That's just always you, how I've been. I used to be like that. I used to get over things really quick. Uh, but that's also because I didn't deal with them. But I mean, my I'm, getting over it was not suppression though. Yeah, that's what mine. You get what I'm saying? Mine is not suppression. Mine is, you know what, man? That's small shit. Let me move. I, now I'm gonna address it though. You get what I'm saying? So I get that closure for myself by the fact that I addressed it, even if the person's perspective don't change. You mm. get what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> but um just in relationships, bro. I always say I was not a good boyfriend. Right. I've been a uh, I've been a pretty good husband. I was not a good boyfriend. Mm. You feel me? So Anything that happened in the confines of relationships that I was in, I'd be like, man, I probably had that shit coming. <laughs> you dig what I'm, I'm being honest. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> like, definitely. So I don't. I, I, I have. I, <laughs> he holding on to that that story. He like, I ain't going to tell you what happened, but yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, well, he it's, thought about honestly, it. Honestly, like, it's, uh, it's too many of them. <laughs> Got you, if got I'm being you. honest, it's, a, it's too many of them, bro. Like, I know one of them. I don't know if that's one of them you talk about. I know, I know one of them. We give me a clue on which one you know. Uh, she got a boy's name. I think she had like a boy's. Yeah. Name oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. No. Nah. One of them. Because I was a terrible boyfriend to her too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she fine now. She was like the finest thing on 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 the planet at that point. Did you say that? Oh. I thought that's what no. you said. Everybody wanted her or something like that. No, I'm definitely pedestalized her uh, okay. for for different reasons, though. Okay, and, and you know, I'm careful, I'm careful to even uh, push you because I know you married. So certain conversations, <laughs> I don't know if you you need to be having. No, well, I just I, out of respect, like honestly, my wife don't be flexing like that. We talk like this all the time. You okay. feel me? But in a public setting, for other people to. Uh, to formulate opinions on what a dynamic that works in here, I won't address it like gotcha. in detail. Uh, however, uh, some lines that to, to the point you was making earlier, some lines that we crossed in relationships when you were talking about over sexualizing and uh, our sexualizing was not sexual. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely have done that and done some damage. Okay, yeah, you feel me? Uh, but in overall forgiveness and uh moving past things i'm 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 
I feel like I'm kind of evolved in that regard. And that's not, you know, a flex or nothing. That's just where I am here uh, as a human. No, uh, everybody moves at a different a different space and and flies at a different altitude what what it is for me um i always would put myself in that person's shoes and i would be like see i would i would have never did no shit like that so that's where my ang- right so that's where my anger usually or originates from because it's like oh i would have never did nobody like that and that and then i hold them to my standard like right. yeah if i don't do that you don't you do shouldn't do it right <laughs> yo i remember one time bro we was at work highs and you said some wild shit, bro what I, said. I said i said i don't think everybody should think the way i think that nigga how i said i do <laughs> and he was straight face, i said this nigga is bugging and he was staring he meant that shit. he said i do why would they not <laughs> you remember that I do remember it because I've had people say that before. But for me, it, it, in that particular case, it was work. It was work related. Like I think I thought we was talking about something about work. Well, we talking about work, or or we just talking about we, in general. Honestly, bro, how our conversations used to be, bro, it could have been anything we was talking about. All right, it could have been anything. Because everybody got their own day. Oh man, everybody got their own. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Nico, we're going to tell you offline what that's about. Because <laughs> that didn't came up too many times. Man, man. I think, I, but I I feel like it's a reason for that. I feel like something there that made oh, me yeah. like, oh. Oh, yeah. I see why everybody got that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> I might you might be out. right. I, I, might I don't, don't want to know. <laughs> I, I, don't I don't like I, change I, like that. I might try to find that. I ain't not like that though. <laughs> not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Anyway, it's accessible. It's very accessible. It's very, yeah, exactly. It's but, accessible. <laughs> that's the homie though. <laughs> that's the homie right there. She cool. She, she's super cool. So no, oh, no, but, no. Um, but no, man. I I think. <laughs> There's certain ways to do things that to me and most people would look at and be like, okay, that's the way we do it. Like, what are you trying to do it another way? Everybody do it a certain way. Nah, nah, nah. This right here is the way it's done. Right. And that's the some of the stuff I'll be trying to tell my son, because my son like to do a beeline on everything. Like, he try to beeline everything into his own way. And it's like, yo, like some things just have a standard, bro. Like, son, <laughs> just follow the protocol. <laughs> <laughs> like and so that's my perspective and sir even as an adult that's my perspective for some things like nah it's, yeah that's the way i think but look at how it's done it's isn't that so much better right <laughs> but remember every like imagine a world where everybody thinks linear peaceful <laughs> maybe so <laughs> maybe so yeah see the reason so. why we in this debacle we in on this planet is the everybody zigging and should be zagging and then we just zigzagging in front like but it's think about a, this no, yo think about this imagine like you ever looked at a piece of art and could not pinpoint the inspiration but you could appreciate it but i just can't clock where the inspiration for this came from even when the connection is explained to you i've been to an art museum a few times in my life right no right. more than a few times i've been in a lot i went i went to one in amsterdam i've been to the high out here several times mm-hmm. i can appreciate art because i'm an artist i know i know how to do all of that but because of that i i scrutinize it differently and i can look at something and be like yeah, he wasn't even trying, man. He playing around with people, man. Like, get this See? off of here. Like, I can look. <laughs> See, you know why? Because <laughs> li- people who think linearly, and it's not a, it's, it, one is not better, worse than the other. There's abstract and there's linear thinkers, right? Right, right. Linear right. thinkers see an absolute. Abstract thinkers see impossibility. But I, I'm very, I'm very abstract though, right? I'm only linear when it comes to things that require that. Yeah, to a degree right to a degree Jay Henry right. like that yeah Jay Henry like that uh, but his uh, how he operate is abstract but right. when it comes to everybody else around him they have to be in a box and I think that come from you know, certain things in our upbringing 
where the some uncertainties we may have had you like to you like you, you like to have to be able to trust something i agree with that and i also believe uh, uh, including if if this we all have our individual worlds as human beings right so right, right mm -hmm. now we bring each other into each other's world and like this is what my world is but i wouldn't be human if i didn't try to control the movement of all the 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 worlds that's orbiting my world i need them to orbit a certain way sometimes so i can feel more comfortable with them orbiting my space right mm -hmm. and and that and that's just kind of what i do i don't do it at any you know malice behind it mm -hmm. and I, I yeah it. yeah and for, for me i always believe if no one's being hurt by it i can take it or i can leave it it's only when the movements is hurting people then i'm like i uh, you need to be doing something else it's only when in business where you making decisions that's left of what we the standard is and it's affecting the time of the produ the production that we trying to, like you seen what happened out there when we was working together like like yo what are you doing well you know i'm just i figured yeah. why are you doing that? well well you, you you're messing things up my man either do you it know, the way we need it or get out that's of here. that's why it was never a problem for me to acquiesce the the structural administration to you right that's why i right. never got offended like when you when you gave a directive that's yeah. why i didn't flex on that is because i understood that you think linearly even if i think because i'm an abstract thing but i can appreciate I, i'm an abstract th which one linearly aqui 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 yes Acquiesce, man. Yeah, yeah, right. He write it down. Write it down. <laughs> yes. yeah. Spell it. I, can't Spell it. I was like, what? <laughs> but Yo, I'm gonna send, like, it, I'm gonna send your video was, to Ti. You can't mess with my homeboy. He got words, more words than you, Ti. He got way more <laughs> words than you. Yo, you, we, we need to talk about your boy too. By the way, who, who, who? He, he, he your boy from New Orleans. He sings. I'm a. You know who you talking about? Lucky day. He's messing with Will Smith wife. Oh, uh, August Alcina. He new video up. He I don't know what's up with that cat, but go ahead, finish what you were saying, man. We'll I ain't seen thing. it, but uh with <laughs> go ahead. But with abstract versus linear, they need each other. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like experience is built through possibility. It's not always yes. built through the linear approach. The linear approach is from point A to point B. It sometimes does not see what's beyond those boundaries. The abstract move, the uh, thought is what's going to see beyond those boundaries, but they can work in concert. You feel me? And, and when you, when you have two people who understand both dynamics and the importance thereof, that's where you have a like a yin and a yang type of uh, uh, what's the word dynamic that goes on to where they did and they both make each other better. Well, that's you get what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. Because how I view it, I think we all have a piece of both of those yeah just some of us lean to one one side or the other like yes i'm i'm very abstract in my imagination i imagine i vision but when it's time to now execute and run the plays that's when i become linear because the, the and that's when you do it the designer is going to design the building but the architect is going to tell you what materials can go actually go yes. with this build right right and yes. then the builder is going to tell you what's possible because now and then the project manager is going to be very linear and making sure that all of this stuff stays in in line mm -hmm. with when the uh with the finished product so it but all what did it start with started with the design and in, in the, the abstract, abstract. <laughs> absolutely yeah absolutely like look at what we're doing right now this started very abstract. Hey, yeah, we should right. just do a podcast. Yo, I'll, I'll let me think about that, Biko. But it didn't get legs until you put your linear touch to it. Mm -hmm. This is true. This is true. Because you said, hey, Oz, we, yo, Oz, we should do a podcast. You, my man's, you, my man's was telling me the same thing, son. Let me think about it. And it, and then one day, it just I hit saw me possibility. Like, you saw possibilities, and I had to, I had to get around to it because I'm like, okay, how are we gonna execute it? Right. Yeah, right. But you know, like, that, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I found. I well, I'm I'm finding, and I have found. Uh, when I try to operate in the linear, it never worked. It never mm. worked. We 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 have this idea that you're supposed to be super CEO, mm. super creative, and super administrative. <laughs> that person 
that idea it does not exist bro that's why people need teams that's you why you need a squad around you of people who are strong where you not you feel mm -hmm. me yeah and it's that's, that's why so many things i got into i, I started a stop i started a stop started a stop because i'm trying to do every fucking thing by myself and we can't though know? <laughs> we can't, can't. At all. i was um okay i was i was talking to my my, my ex-brother-in-law yesterday i went to pick up my son by the way I, man i caught a flat tire man coming around the corner it scraped up against this. I don't know what kind of curb he got on his block. Like he's a bunch of nice houses, but the, like this, the, it's the like curve got in your way. Yeah, you got the a curb. On curb. <laughs> and I didn't want to say that, but the curb got in my way, man. That's the reality of it, man. The curb, the curb got in my oh, way. Oh, abstract ass curb. Yeah, right. Like it, <laughs> if you ever, if you ever hey. turn a block. And you know it, it's a funny block, so you curving around, and you think you cleared the curb, but you didn't clear yeah. the curb because yeah. the curb it it it, it kind of falls into like a sewer, so it sits up higher than it should yeah. sit up. So all I all I felt was, and I'm thinking it got my rim, I it the rim. So I parked the car in front of the crib, right? I get, it. I'm like, let me see what it did to my rim. I'm looking at the curb. I see the scuff mark and it's white. So I'm like, oh, it got my rim, right? Because there's a white scuff mark on it. I'm like, oh, my rim probably looking crazy. I get to my front tire and all I hear is, damn. <laughs> Snake is just looking at the tire looking at me like, <laughs> I'm like yeah. it's dying. It's bleeding out. <laughs> He says, Ricky, <laughs> Ricky, <laughs> no, no I can't. All minister society, fight, fight. you gotta fight. Now you're bleeding out, man. I had to ride back on the Krispy Kreme, son. Like, I was, I was tight about that oh. yeah, on the Krispy Kreme. <laughs> on the Krispy Kreme, the whole son, ride, like, all you hear is do 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 yo do do. Yo, and but you know, I'm 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 like, okay, how long can I hold this? Cause I'm like, I, I I'm like, how long can you ride a donut? You know, because I really ain't trying to buy a tire right now. Right. So I'm really I'm like, it's a no more than 50, 70 miles max. And I done rode already 25 miles from his crib back to my house. So I'm already half. I gotta go to work for them. I'm like all right. So then I go on YouTube. I'm looking for any reason not to go and buy a tire, right? So I get on YouTube. And they like they got all these videos, dudes. Like I done rode nine hundred miles home on on a, on a donut. I'm like, okay, shit, hey, I can nah, do it. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> what's, a little, what's a little 50, 60 more? You know what I mean? But I ended up, I dropped it off at Walmart this morning, man. I was like, man, I because when you riding on it, you just feel uncomfortable. He's like, man, this thing gonna pop any any yeah. minute, man. Yep. Like, yeah. let me yeah. let me Boo -boo. go bust the move. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. Let, just, <laughs> yeah, and you can't go that fast either. And and you're supposed to drive like fifty miles an hour, yeah. right? Like I think it's and, forty, and, but yeah, you're and, pushing. And the moment you start getting <laughs> to those higher speeds, you start feeling like it, it's pulling. And I was yeah. like, I can't do this, man. This is ridiculous. It's bro. a capacity issue, bro. Yo, listen. So, real quick, so your man and and, and your man August. Yeah, what happened? You said you saw it, time, or you didn't I, see I it? I didn't. I, didn't see it. I don't I need to it. see it. I know what his problem is. Right, Damn. so we go, we go good. Uh, so Nick Cannon and them have a new show called Council Culture. Mm. So God. when we first talked about the um the podcast, yeah. you wanted to name it something with culture, and I remember you kept saying it, and I and I was, I was trying to figure it out, but I was mentally still pushing back on it because I'm like it's going to get lost in the sauce with everything, and then I see that and I'm like okay, um, and this is Nick Cannon's like third or fourth attempt at a podcast so you know he's right. he's even though he's famous he got stuff that's not you know sticking with or he's even you know trying to so that's why i don't even get discouraged when we try stuff and it right. don't work out because right. i'm like there's people out here man they get into it and it don't work out they try something else and that's all you could do but august is on there and they're talking about love and they're talking about men being able to express themselves with love and he's up this talking about, man, listen, I don't even, you know how he talk, hey, check this out, man. I don't even, I don't even define my, my love has no gender. My love, you know, yo, so he goes into this soliloquy of loving a man. And he says, I don't, I don't have no 
orientation that way you know what i mean i just love love i'm like what's going <laughs> on man like do i and this is my personal belief right and, and you know who agrees who doesn't agree i believe that some people get so high in the clouds with being so esoteric and so spiritually connected that the spirit has no gender that they just lose their way in their connection to the humanity of it and it's like all of a sudden <laughs> anything that feels good must be good right that's dangerous because i'm sure heroin feel good i'm sure crack <clears throat> feel good till it don't until it don't. <laughs> you feel like so i know homie had a rough upbringing that i know i uh i'm actually i i'm I know people that's related to him. Okay. Um, and like the thing with coming from a city like New Orleans, right? There's not a lot of industry there, right? We've had examples. We had cash money. We had no limit. We have a uh, jet life. We have, you know, different entities, it, uh, Rob 49. We have people who can show us what the industry looks like from, uh, you know, from a New Orleans perspective, right? Mm -hmm. The problem is some of these guys from New Orleans have an idea of what the industry is and they leave New Orleans a small, uh, it's not, a, it's, it's a small city. It, it's, it, it, but, and there's not a lot of industry opportunities there like that, right? So okay. we really outsiders to every industry. So when we go to this, the, the the let's say Hollywood, right? A lot of the niggas get turned out by Hollywood, bro. Mm. And the idea, like this, this man went from obscurity to, to through the roof fast. You feel me? Like he he was. I don't remember him on the local scene in New Orleans. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So there was no uh, small. Uh, small taste of success to show him the trappings of success on a small scale before the large success came. So now you got everything available to you, almost unlimited access. That's a, yeah. that's when you when you already coming from trauma, right? When you don't have any grounding like that, that's when you. Tossed to and fro by every little thing you hear or every anything that sounds interesting or sounds deep. Now you just, oh, that's what I'm running with today. And when you use you the get word, what I'm saying? When you use the term turned out, you really mean exposed. Or you do really yeah, you I, I don't mean it in the sense of like he like you know, like gay or anything. I don't like I'm not even on that. Like I think it's right. it's so much deeper than uh him expressing his like I think sex is the biggest cop out right you feel me like because it's so easy because we human it's so easy to over sexualize something right so now we searching for comfort we searching for that that good feeling right so it just happened to be in this so this is what i'm running with so this must be like you said this feel good so it must be good mm -hmm. when all it is is somebody just whoever that person may be or whatever that community may be is making you feel like you belong and that's really with the, the drug you want mm. you get what i'm saying and he clearly is an attention whore he, yeah he love he definitely appreciates attention you get what i'm saying and and when you get all of those dynamics and, and just I I, 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 I I pray for him bro because like you really out there with no grounding bro mm. and that don't have yeah. nothing to do with his preferences it's him as a spirit, as a soul. You just float, wandering soul, wandering soul, and that's soul. dangerous. And, and but when when people keep giving platforms to people like that, bro, that's that's predatory to me. And that, and that's that's the the problematic part about that particular show that he got because Nick is on there saying this is therapy, and I'm like, it's not it's because not. it's like it's like you're not a licensed five, therapist. People, yeah, he, but they got one supposedly on the show. But this is the problem with that: it's a show, so it has to be produced, right? And it it's, has to be entertaining, and it has to be entertaining, right? So it's not when you go into therapy, like so it can be therapeutic to talk in groups of men and everybody kind of share 
but you're not going to be so forthcoming with everything when you're around a bunch of people. You get in solitude one-on-one -on -one with your therapist, over time, you're going to start revealing some things. Because the character gone at that point. But as long as them characters, as long as them, them cameras rolling, the character is on, boy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, man. You get what I'm what's saying? Your, what's your take on it, man, when they hear him saying, knowing what you know about him? I don't know nothing about this dude, man. Oh, you know, you just know him about, you know, Jada yeah. and... and what? Yeah, I'm, I know nothing about this dude. <laughs> on, on it, and that, that album he had with uh, The Benediction, that's the only thing I know. You know what I mean? And the album was cool. And then I didn't hear anything about him again until um him um him and Jada. So wow. I don't know nothing about okay. this cat, like at all. Creole, that, that album was light. But, I didn't listen to it. It was like you ain't like that. I like that album, man. It was all right. I I think I would be interested. <laughs> I would be interested in an uh, industry uh 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 uh, uh and when artists start just being true to their expression versus doing what the industry tell you you should do mm. i got you so, so you and i just like I, I i don't i haven't seen that from him you, you feel he wasn't being authentic on that album it was just, just... no nah, I, I think he had handlers initially mm. okay and that's not this not me knocking bro like clearly he's way younger than me so his music is not made for my ear or for my taste right it's not mm -hmm. um and i'm not saying it's whack he had some stuff that i thought was okay you know it was good uh he had a song called downtown when he first came out uh from uh it, he was talking about from new orleans downtown new orleans i thought it was good that somebody from downtown had representation in it you know so that was cool to me but it's it's the mu that music ain't for me bro i could dig it yeah he doesn't have a lot of music that i i can say i remember nah, like i know nah. I listened to that. I, I, I actually brought it, and it was good to me. I, I like that album. Oh wow! As far as, as far as um, he can sing uh, though. Yeah, yeah. As far as his preference, I think it's a uh, proximity love, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what I'm around. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> exactly. When in Rome. When in Rome. Hey. hey when in Greece. Me. Green. You ain't <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> you out of line with that one, bro. <laughs> it was clearly a joke. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> <Right in> Greece. <laughs> Greece. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Still yeah, a we got it. We got. We need to trademark that word. It's still a We better. <laughs> oh shit! Sure. All right, fellas, man. Yo, Cordell, we got to put that on the shirt, man. Still a soft. How how you spell that shit? <laughs> right, we'll right, figure right. it out. <laughs> they like, what that mean? Hey, here's the beauty of it. Nobody knows how to spell it. We can't spell it wrong. <laughs> <Can't> spell it. <laughs> Yo, you got experience with that. <laughs> Watermelon. Watermelon. Yo, you was taking us all ladies' money, man. <laughs> These ladies don't know how to spell. That's enough. <laughs> you get titty and dollars. All that, girl, Sheila, he's so smart, girl. He's he he <laughs> I, I think I got some titty 20s for him. Yeah, titty 20s is great. He's titty 20. <laughs> Be all sweaty, <laughs> right? Yo, sweaty yo, ass man. titty twenties. Oh, man, them titty twenties ain't no joke, man. <laughs> titty twenties. <laughs> they smell like they, they smell like regular twenties. So we gonna let it rock. Smell like white diamonds. That what they smell like. <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor, white <laughs> red door. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yo, anything else we need to touch on? Pause before we before we eat. <laughs> You're not gonna get out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh man. So, as soon as it was as soon as it was it, it was just going, I was like, damn, I can't take it. Almost. Back. I can't put, 
<laughs> I can't even put the car in reverse with this one. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So um we'll go ahead and wrap it up right there, man. Great conversation. I'm 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 Always. so proud of us, man. Uh, and just wanted to let you guys know, man, people are watching, even though they're not liking the product, not sharing it. They are watching. I'm getting questions from people. I didn't even know paid attention. Yep. Right. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, oh, you got the podcast popping. Yo, man, I see y'all. Y'all doing your thing, man. And I see how people are starting to begin to interact with us um, mm -hmm. in, in those comments and in those in those stories and, and, and on them DMs. So, uh, yeah, we we doing the right thing. Yeah, they, they, they they sit, hot in this garage, boy. <laughs> they just sitting there waiting. Got me over here looking like a smoke sign. It's cool to like us. They, they said to it's cool to like us, right? Yeah. They sitting there waiting to it's cool to like us. <laughs> then they was there. Then they. I was his first subscriber. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what? I'm a lie. I'm a you. You know what, bro? You sure was. I think right, you right. was. I think I got that that notification. You definitely was. <laughs> All facts. <laughs> That's how you know when niggas lying, niggas facts. <laughs> I know, I know for a fact, the first one of the first people to subscribe was my mom's. Dope. I know that for a fact because when I saw it, I was like, and she was always commenting, so I was like, I right. yeah, I remember that. All right, I'll buy you a house when it happens. <laughs> I'll get you a house for something. <laughs> All right, man, I'm gonna hit the end on this, and then um, we're gonna touch on something real quick. Oh. Pause. Thank you.